Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple Java 2D game. And this game will be a simple side scroller where you just go across the screen, left, right. Now, to start off, I've created the project, but create your class. And now, when you're creating a class, you're going to add your package here. I'll call our package our game. You can call your package whatever you want. Give your class, give your class a name. But there has to be three classes. One will be the frame. I'll call this one the frame. And so this is our frame class. Our second class will contain our main character for the game. We'll call this class dude because that's our main character. He's going to be a, a dude. Now our third class is going to be a, a basically a panel. It's going to be what what contains everything. It's going to have all the stuff on it. So we'll call it board. Okay. Notice how Eclipse has added this package our game. So all these all these classes can talk to each other in that sense. Now in this class we're going to go public static void main. And now in our main method we're going to uh, create our create a new frame. So okay, so I've made the frame and notice how I set this size. It's the size of my background image. So here are my images that I have. This is my background image and I'll be using this as a background image. This is my main character in the game. I just found these images off the internet, so I've placed these images under um, C, so I can access them from here. Now, what we're going to do here is frame dot add, and we're going to add new board onto our frame. This is our board, and we're just basically going to add it. Now, let's start doing our board class, and then so when this gets called new board it goes to the constructor of board so we're going to make a constructor because we need to do some stuff with board before we can start using it so public board now inside board we're going to first of all we're going to create a new uh an instance of this dude class so we're going to have a dude p and this is just any variable i call it so we're also going to have an image so image IMG. This image will contain my background image, and you have to import this, of course, and it's under AWT. So inside here, we're first of all we're going to go p is equal to new dude. So basically, it's going to start running the dude class, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this focusable, which basically allows it to so that when you press keys, it can move left to right, and actually you have to extend j panel because this this just means that you're drawing on the uh, panel and you have to import swing so now that that's done what you have to do is get your image so it's done by image icon image icon i is equal to new image icon and here's where the path for the file goes and now my background is saved under c test.png and Next, what you got to do is go img is equal to i dot get image. So now at this point, img stores my background image, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now, one more thing you have to do, since you're going to be always updating your um, your frame because you're going to be moving your your character around, we create a timer and we call it time, and we go time is equal to new timer and we put 5 this now what this does is it every 5 milliseconds it's going to update our image so it looks like that our uh, our character on the screen is actually moving now we go time.start and this will run a uh, method for the action performed now for that we have to implement action listener because that's an action performed method. Now, sorry. Now that that now, now that that's done, you can. Sorry, I still spelled it wrong. Now that that now that that's done, you can import your action listener, which is under awt.event, and now now it's giving you an error because it wants you to actually get the method. So public void action performed action event e 
and this will go repaint. First of all, we want to we want to repaint every five milliseconds, like draw the image all over again. And also, we want to create our public void paint. Sorry, paint graphics G. Okay, so this is just our paint method, just the same way it's been done before. And in and inside our paint method, we go super dot paint G and graphics 2D. G2D is equal to graphics 2D G. So it just casts the uh, graphics 2D onto the uh, onto our graphics. Now we're gonna move on to the other class, which is your dude class. We'll come back to this one in just a second. And in your dude class, you want to do a couple things. You want to create an x variable int x with and a dx variable which will hold your x coordinate and your change in x coordinate. Your change in x coordinate will represent how much you're moving your character by every time you press left or right. Or it will determine whether you're moving left or right. Now this is dude, our constructor, and inside here we're going to go image icon i is equal to new image icon, same way we did before, except this time we're going to load our image. This is my this is my image. Um, called still now image still this is our uh, variable for our uh, uh, image and now we can go still is equal to i dot get image okay and now we can just go ahead and import all this and we're going to set our initial x coordinate as 10 and our y coordinate as 172. Actually, we should also have a y variable here. Okay? So this is our x and y coordinates, and this is our change in x. We don't have any change in y because I'm not adding jump in this program, but you'll see how easy jump is to do once uh, you see how easy this is. Now, this is our move method. It represents the change that you uh, have. So x is equal to x plus dx dx is just the movement, so x plus the amount you moved. And now we have a bunch of get methods because these variables are not uh, static, so you can't access them from the other methods, so we just have a bunch of methods to get our variables. Public and get y, return y, and we also have a public image, get image, which will return an image still. Okay. You could have drawn the still in the other class, but the thing is that still might change and you'll see how it might change in in a bit. Public void. Now this is our uh actually we'll go back to this class now. And now here we're going to Just import everything here, and we're going to create our next next method, which is a um, public sorry private class action listener extends key adapter, which is just our key adapter just determines which uh, key was pressed. So public void key release. So if we release a key, then and if we put key event E, the E is basically it tells us what was released. And also public void key pressed. So this is when a key is pressed. These are your action listeners that will be called once you release the key or if you press a key. And now inside our dude class, we're going to have to create methods for this. What happens when the key is released? What happens when the key is pressed? Well, you can already see that if the key is released, then you're, you're, uh, sorry, if the key is pressed, then you're moving. If the key is released, then you're stopping. So we'll go ahead and implement this here. And we'll go public void key pressed, key event E. So this is if the key is pressed. And we can go int key is equal to E dot get key code. 
So this just returns a number so we can compare it with other things. Then we also have to import this awt.star. 